Now I would like to invite Professor Michal Pet from the Czech Republic, uh, from the Palacki University in Olomouc. Professor Pet uh, is the head of the Department of International and European Law and an author of uh, several important par papers in the field of European law, economic law and competition law. The title of Professor Pet's lecture is The Constitutional Identity in Czech Jurisprudence. Dear Professor Pet, the floor is yours. Good morning, everybody, and thanks a lot uh, for the opportunity to be here. It's really a pleasure for me. Uh, at uh, another conference uh, in uh, in Prague uh, just a few weeks ago, uh, there was a colleague from Hungary, and uh, he introduced his presentation that uh, his presentation will be very Hungarian. It will be short and spicy. And uh, I, I would like to, to have a being here in Budapest, the Hungarian presentation as well. Uh, I, I wanted to concentrate on the topic of the constitutional identity in the Czech uh, jurisprudence of the Constitutional Court, uh, which is quite difficult because the court itself does not use this term. Uh, interestingly, it uh, referred to it only twice in the almost 30 years of, uh, of existence, uh, one uh, in a bizarre reference to constitutional identity of Lebanon, uh, which is not much relevant for what we are discussing here. Uh, and uh, and uh, for the second time, uh, it only mentioned this, uh, this, this term without, uh, without really uh, defining it without uh, telling what it means uh, and uh, even more interestingly uh, even without uh, without explaining why it uh, resorted to this term i will come to this uh, to, to this uh, only instance uh, later uh, at the same time uh, the legal th theory uh, became slowly uh, but growingly more and more obsessed with this term uh, starting with the treaty of lisbon uh, there, there was a growing number of articles trying to uh, trying to identify uh, what what is this specifically czech constitutional identity uh, what is it that the constitutional court is about to protect and uh, as uh, I will show you, maybe similarly to what we have right now heard uh, in the German experience, there is not much specifically Czech in that uh, uh, in, in that uh, concept. Uh, you know, uh, in the Czech jurisprudence, uh, as I told you, the, the term constitutional identity is not used. Instead of it, uh, the courts and the theory uh, talks about uh, the core of the constitution, the material core, core of it, which is defined in the legal text by two articles. Uh, the, the first one, the very first article of the constitution, uh, claiming what are the basic principles uh, which guarantee you know, the identity of the Czech Republic and the eternity clause, uh, quite, uh, quite similar to what we, again, know from the German experience. Uh, by the way, uh, Czech uh, constitutional law and the case law of the court of the uh, constitutional court is uh, very much uh, inspired by the by the by the, the German one. Uh, so it's lucky for me to speak uh, directly uh, after <laughs> after the, the the German presentation because I may refer it to it to it quite a uh, quite a lot. Uh, as you can see, the Eternity clause is uh, narrower uh, than the definition of the of the principles, uh, which uh, sparked many questions. Why? Uh, whether whether the, the other you know the other principles are less uh, important uh, than, the, than those uh, those two ones, uh, but the uh, the constitutional court uh, relatively early concluded that. Uh, Whatever is written there, uh, all of it uh, is, is, is covered by the constitutional clause. So nothing, uh, uh, nothing, nothing, uh, nothing uh, surprising. Uh, what may be surprising, and uh, this uh, this would be something something slightly uh, specific, uh, the Czech constitutional court uh, from the relatively beginning of its existence was. Uh, 
determined to to protect this this core of the constitution uh, this uh, uh, this identity and by some researchers it was named uh, one of the most activist courts in the world uh, in this uh, in, in, in this this regard uh, the first case of, of, of this uh, was uh, was uh, was a case from the from the beginning of this century uh, when the Czech constitution was amended in order to prepare the constitutional order uh, for the accession to the uh, to the EU and uh, it uh, among, among others uh, the provision uh, defining the the position of international treaties in the Czech legal order was uh, was amended. Uh, before this amendment, uh, there was a special, you know, a, a special place for uh, international treaties on human rights, uh, which were uh, basically put you know, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the highest highest uh, legal legal power above uh, above, above the laws, uh, and uh, the other international laws were not mentioned. And by this amendment. Uh, the special position of the human rights treaties uh, was abolished, and uh, there was only there is currently only a general provision of the on the uh, international treaties, and the uh, uh, the uh, constitutional court uh, declared in this judgment uh, that uh, such an amendment of the constitution would be against the eternity clause and the core of the constitution. And uh, it is willing to retain the interpretation as before uh, that the international treaties on human rights are part of Czech constitutional order, uh, which uh, was quite heavily discussed and still is discussed uh, in Czech, uh, in Czech uh, constitutional discourse uh, because arguably you know, the, the, the Czech constitutional court has limitlessly expanded the Czech constitutional legal order, uh, incorporating into it all the, uh, all the international treaties on human rights, uh, current and possibly, uh, possibly future, which makes the, you know, the constitutional identity very, very hazy. The second, uh, second case uh, when the Czech court intervened in order to protect the core of the constitution uh, was uh, maybe even, even, even more surprising. It, it concerned uh, a specific constitutional law uh, concerning elections. Uh, in the uh, in in in, uh, in 2008, uh, there was a, uh, a again a governmental crisis uh, in the in the Czech Republic. Uh, the government lost the majority in the uh, in the in the parliament, and uh, all the politicians uh, decided that uh, they will give up and uh, they will call for new elections. And uh, for some reason, uh, they had not dissolved the uh, the, uh, the the parliament, uh, but they adopted a specific constitutional law uh, shortening the electoral term. Uh, this this sounds a bit, a bit strange, but it has been done before uh, in the in the nineties. So uh, there was a, a precedent uh, for for this. Uh, and I, I underlined was that it was a constitutional law. Uh, on the, on the electoral term. And still the, uh, the constitutional court intervened again uh, and said, well, uh, this would be again against the core of the constitution, uh, against the principle of, uh, of uh, law abiding state. Uh, it will be against the uh, prohibition of retroactive uh, application of laws. And this constitutional law is unconstitutional. Uh, which uh, was again one of the most uh, most famous uh, judgments uh, of the of the constitutional court, uh, finding that uh, constitutional law is not constitutional. Uh, again, I guess uh, this, uh, this this goes into the general legal theory, uh, because as far as I know, again uh, in, in Germany, the, 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 it, this was discussed uh, uh, and maybe barked about, but not uh, actually bitten. <laughs> Uh, but uh, our court uh, has uh, has, uh, has done that. Uh, and uh, finally, coming now to the, to the relationship, I will try to talk softer. Maybe it will uh, it will be easier. Uh, 
finally coming to the relationship uh, between the Czech constitutional law and uh, the, the EU one. Uh, in the very first ruling uh, concerning the, the, the EU law, uh, which, by the way, was uh, quite a, a minor, relatively easy case concerning one governmental uh, regulation, uh, the Constitutional Court came with an enormous ruling uh, covering uh, all the theory of the interaction uh, between constitutional law and uh, the, the EU law. It's really like a, it reads like, like a textbook. Every, everything you want to know about it is in this one judgment. Uh, even though it's, uh, you know, it's, it's like obiter dictum, uh, it's 100 pages of obiter dictum and uh, five pages on the, on the merit, but still it is there. And uh, in this judgment, uh, the, the Czech Constitutional Court, again, uh, I would say, took the Zolange uh, doctrine of the, of the German Constitutional Court and said, well, uh, I will bark in, in, uh, every, uh, in, in, in every case before me. Uh, I will make sure uh, that uh, the, the EU law does not infringe the the core of the uh, of the uh, constitution. So, with this uh, introduction, with this willingness of the constitutional court to uh, to protect the, the Czech uh, uh, Czech identity, uh, were there any cases when it actually did? And in this context, and this you know very very loud context uh, of the preparation, uh, surprisingly there are no. Uh, on the uh, conversely, uh, the Czech Competition Court is thought to be very you know, Europe friendly. Uh, it interprets the Czech Constitution uh, in all the cases, but one, uh, in a, in a very pro-European way. Uh, the one of the most famous examples is the, is the is the debate concerning the European arrest warrant discussed throughout uh, throughout the EU, uh, I guess, uh, where many uh, many constitutional courts had problem with that, uh, with this this constitutionality, and uh, some uh, member states needed to amend the the constitution. Uh, but the Czech constitutional court said, well. Uh, the, the, the Czech Republic is a member of the EU. Uh, out of it stems some obligations. And uh, we, if the Czech constitution may be interpreted in a way which would, which would honor these obligations, if, uh, if, we can, uh, if we can interpret it in a Euro-friendly way, let's do it. It's the, we, we have to do it like that. Uh, so even, even though it was a, this was a complicated case, uh, no biting, and actually even no absolutely no barking. You know, just well, we uh, we we fully support uh, the Euro-friendly interpretation. Uh, similarly, uh, in the series of rulings concerning the Lisbon Treaty, uh, you definitely remember that uh, the Czech president was uh, very strongly against the, the, the Lisbon Treaty. Uh, he kept refusing to uh, to signing it into force for a long time, and we had a series of uh, of uh, questions uh, sent to the uh, to the Constitutional Court to, to interpret uh, the Lisbon Treaty, uh, to uh, to declare that it is or it is not in line with the Czech constitution. Uh, so again, there's a wealth of, uh, of knowledge uh, in, these, uh, in these judgments. judgments. And again, uh, the, uh, the constitutional court uh, said, well, uh, the Czech constitution may be interpreted in line with the EU law, and thus uh, the, uh, the Lisbon Treaty does not infringe this core of, uh, of uh, constitution. Uh, even though the, the, the democracy may be limited by being exercised on two levels, um, you know, elect direct elections to national authorities and to E1, it's, it's fine. Uh, even though the sovereignty is uh, uh, maybe may be limited uh, by, by this, uh, this, this conferral on the, on the EU, that's fine. Uh, we are living uh, no longer in the... Uh, in the in the old ages of 
of the state sovereignty. We need to understand it now in a new way as a pooled sovereignty exercised jointly uh, by, the, by, by the EU. Uh, so again, the, uh, the, the court was very, uh, very EU friendly. Uh, so there was a only only one case uh, when uh, when the Czech Constitutional Court was decidedly against uh, EU, uh, the case of so-called Slovak pensions, which I discussed a lot uh, at, the, at, the, at the workshop uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, so I don't want to go into uh, into details, uh, but uh, this was the the only uh, only case, uh, only situation uh, when the Constitutional Court uh, declared uh, that it will not. Uh, abide by the rulings of the Court of Justice and uh, they decided uh, against uh, what was uh, what was de what was declared by the uh, by the, the Court of Justice uh, as I explained last time uh, the motivation uh, behind uh, this ruling was more a domestic quarrel between the Constitutional Court and the Supreme Administrative Court uh, than a protection of, of uh, something, some specific Czech uh, constitutional identity. Uh, the Czech Constitutional Court uh, in this case mentioned uh, this. This, is, this, was the, this was the only non-Lebanese case when uh, constitutional identity was mentioned uh, by the Court of Justice. Uh, it, uh, it, it, uh, it, 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 it mentioned that the Court of Justice uh, should have taken the Czech constitutional identity into account, uh, but did not explain in more detail what it means by that uh, and what uh, would that what would would that have meant if the court of justice did uh, consider the uh, czech constitutional identity uh, and uh, and uh, it, it, uh, it 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 closed as i explained to you last time uh, it, it closed the case as uh, as a ultra ultra virus uh, uh, declaration of the of the court of justice And as I explained last time, this is really believed to be a, a huge exception from the general trend of the Czech Constitutional Court. So uh, if uh, the Czech Constitutional Court is that much aligned uh, with the EU law, uh, may there be something specifically Czech uh, in the Czech Constitutional, uh, constitutional identity? Uh, well, the, the, the only think uh, discussed uh, in, in the Czech, uh, Czech jurisprudence and in Czech academia uh, is a very old uh, decision you, you see from, from the 90s, uh, a before the EU case. So it's uh, basically not covered by this, uh, by, by this research, but still worth mentioning, uh, concern, con concerning the, uh, the, the, the so-called Banish decrets, which definitely in this region are, are well known. Uh, the decision of the then president of Czechia, uh, of Czech Czechoslovakia after the, the end of the Second World War uh, to confiscate uh, assets uh, of, uh, of uh, German and Hungarian uh, nationalists uh, in, the, in the Czech Republic, uh, which uh, after the revolution in the, in the 1989 was repeatedly uh, challenged as uh, being against the fundamental rights as understood today and ab ab about uh, against the, the um, uh, that about the, the, the principle of uh, prohibition of collective guilt uh, there were absolutely no individual decisions it was you no know, way decision to confiscate all, uh, all all of the all, all, all of the all of the assets and here uh, in, in, in a rare example you know of being uh, of stressing something specifically Czech maybe uh, the constitutional court, court declared that uh, we cannot uh, assess uh, the legal legality or constitutionality of uh, events uh, more than half a century ago uh, in today's standards that uh, that this it, it was adopted in a certain context uh, and this context and this this, this might be the, the important part this context this experience is part of the of the identity uh, enshrined in the in the constitution um, interesting case uh, really defining for uh, for for the Czech, Czech constitutional order uh, probably outside of the scope of what we are discussing here but uh, but uh, definitely worth mentioning uh, 
which leads me uh, to, to 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 a conclusion uh, not uh, not very you know revealing uh, because uh, even though the Czech constitutional identity uh, is currently discussed and uh, the constitutional court has an idea what it is and it is uh, really willing uh, to to protect it it declares it repeatedly it barks all the time uh, the actual risk of conflict with uh, eu law uh, this 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 clash of uh, you know clash of, of courts uh, is uh, quite improbable uh, in Czechia, uh, given the fact uh, that uh, in all the major judgments of the Constitutional Court throughout the last 20 years, uh, 10 years, uh, the Constitutional Court was very pro-European uh, and always interpreted the Czech Constitution in line with the with the EU. Uh, so probably there will be even less biting in Czechia than in Germany. Thank you. Hey.